And speaking of essential employees, in the case of National Grid, the work must go on, and that means isolating a group of people to guarantee operations can continue running. I would assume supporter Shino Loshudo spoke to a Rhode Islander who shares his firsthand experience and gives us an inside look into sequestration. She joins us now with a story that's new tonight. Well, a lot of us are working from home, but what about living at work? Well, that's the case for about 200 National Grid employees. They all volunteered to step up. The goal is to make sure the power stays on no matter what. You know, every day, 24 7 right now. This is as close as we can get to someone in Paul Wildenhain's shoes. Originally from Cumberland, he's one of 200 National Grid employees who are sequestered, locked in at different sites in both Massachusetts and New York. Paul is working and living at a facility in Northborough with about 75 other people. If someone got sick and spread it amongst the different crews, we were going to be in some dire straits. The way this works, no one is interacting with an outsider. The group moved in to their temporary home on March 23rd and plans to be there until April 24th. We're feeling good. Everyone is quarantined, working 12 hour days. They have everything they need right there. I was in the military before this. It's very similar to being deployed. We're taking it day by day. Things are actually uh, fairly slow for us overall. We've seen a, a reduction in energy demand. Paul and his co-workers do a lot of the behind-the-scenes work to keep the power on. That part's easy compared to the worst parts of the gig. My wife is a school teacher in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. So she's been struggling quite a bit with trying to uh, do the virtual learning for her 28 or so students. And at the same time, kind of assist our children with uh, their classes as well. So we're trained uh, and we do storm events a lot. So there's, there's been multiple times where I've had to spend quite a few days here. Never to this magnitude. Yeah, I think the biggest struggle for most of us is the fact that we, we miss our families. And according to a National Grid spokesperson, there's even medical staff on site to check everyone out every day. A new group is set to take over at the end of April. I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News.